Welcome back to the channel. Today we are wish listing again, and this time we're taking a look at the Polished Gamers Box. Uh, Polished Gamers Box is a gaming related um, box. Everything has like a gaming or sci fi uh, theme, and it includes indie brands, um, their nail polish, nail care, um, wax, and a bunch of um, handmade items. This is actually new to me. Um, I've never purchased from Polish Gamers before. I actually really um, never even looked into it. So this will be fun taking a look at it. And the Gamers Box is available every other month, not every month like um, something like PPU or Hella Handmade Creation. So every other month from the 15th to the 20th. So this will open April 15th, which is Saturday. Um, and then it'll be open through the 20th. Let's take a look and hopefully put some good things on our wish list. First up, this is a respawn from Adored Colors. A respawn is just kind of a re-release of a previously um, available polish. I don't see a description here. Um, oh, no, I do see a description. It's an eggplant jelly base with opal flakies, diamond desk squares, ruby red micro glitter, and silver reflective glitter. Oh, and it glows in the dark. That's very cool. Oh, there's only 30 available. So pretty small cap. If this is something you want, uh, go ahead and, and get on the site as soon as it opens. This is really pretty. I've never tried Adored Colors, but I'm not really into um, glow in the dark or reflective glitters. So not something I need to put on my list. Next up, we've got BCB Lacquers. It's another respawn. It's called Spook, Spooker Bees. Spookerby? I'm not, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, that is really pretty. That's, it's a kind of a deep indigo. So it's a dark purple jelly with orange and purple iridescent flakes and silver reflective glitter. Very pretty. There's a hundred of these available. Um, I like that a lot. That is super pretty. Normally not a reflective glitter kind of gal. You can see the reflective glitter up here in the top right. Um, but that's really pretty, that dark purple color. We're going to add it to the wish list, see what happens. All right, next up from, I, I, I hear this said two ways, damn nail polish or dom nail polish. I, I'm not quite sure, so feel free to correct me either way. This is a respawn of their rosebud polish. That is a nice, pretty deep uh, green. I love greens. Um, Rosebud is a green jelly with shifting green and pink flakes. 200 are available. Um, and it's the original theme was from The Sims. I, I don't play The Sims. I don't really play too many video games, honestly. Um, but this is really pretty. Look at all that sparkle in there. Yeah, I'm putting that on the wish list. It's hard to resist a green. Next up is another respawn from Jen and Berry's. I'll see you in Somerset. That is a nice ghostly... Um, it's a pale blue jelly with a downright obscene amount of red to green shifting shimmer and a splash of pink and blue metallic flakes. I like that. Uh, no cap it looks like. So if you want it, you know, you can get it whenever you want. Um, looks like you can wear it on top of, of different, um, different polishes. Uh, really pretty, but I, I don't need another kind of ghostly color. I've got a lot, so. We'll skip that one. Oh, another respawn from Night Owl Lacquer, Temple of the Witch. Um, no cap, and it's a jade crelly filled with black and red multi-chrome micro, micro flakies. I really like Night Owl. I think they come up with some really interesting um, uh, color, color combos with their flakies and the base. Here it is with a matte uh, finish. I'm not sure I like it in the matte. I'm not sure I... I I usually prefer a glossy finish. This is really pretty. Kind of reminds me of like a granite or something. I'm gonna put that on the wish list. I like that. Let's go with, okay, 1422, Exiled Jedi Master. I'm gonna guess that this is a Star Wars theme. Um, 100 of these available. Let's see, a murky purple base with a green blue purple shifting shimmer and holog holographic flakes and normally this purple blue green uh, combo it will get me every time but I don't like the hollow flakes I think it looks like dust got caught in your nail polish and I mean 
I don't, I don't understand. It's one of my weird little quirks. It's really pretty though. Um, just the hollow flakes just don't do it for me. So we'll say no. Next up uh, is Adored Colors. It's called Force Unleashed. Ooh, I wonder, I think this is a magnetic. Um, only 30 of these available. It's a mossy nude base filled with red, orange, gold, green shift, shifting flakes, gold, green, orange, yellow, red, and yellow flakes, and it has a greenish silver pulling magnetic polish. So it is a magnetic, and you can kind of see that on these pictures with the line, the, the silver line that runs through it. That's really pretty. Um, I hate to say a nail polish is boring because it's got so many so many facets going on but this doesn't really do anything for me um, so I won't be trying this one alchemy lacquers Vader's apprentice another Star Wars theme and this is very pretty this looks a lot like the alchemy lacquers that's available for hella handmade creations this month there's only a hundred of these available um, it's a purple leaning blue jelly nail lacquer with purple pink shifting shimmer, blue metallic flakes, and holographic flakes. This one, the holographic flakes aren't too prominent, so this I could actually see myself getting. I do like this sort of purple, but it leans on the blue side, um, so it's a little bit of a cooler purple. Um, I'm going to put it on the wish list and, you know, we'll see. All Mixed Up Lacquers, Epic Cut Scene. I love that name, that's really cool. Uh, cap, yeah, 75 of these are available and it is, um, oh, it's inspired by a photo of the Lego Star Wars video game. It's a vibrant magenta base with purple blue shifting shimmer. Isn't magenta the Pantone color of the year? I'm not really sure. This is really pretty. Uh, I like the kind of foiled effect that you almost see, um, but I really just don't need another magenta um, magenta polish, but it's really pretty. BCB Lacquers, The Fallen Order. Ooh, this looks jam-packed with stuff. There's a hundred of these available. It's a, excuse me, pink crelly with green iridescent flakes, gold, rose gold, and black metallic flakes. Uh, yeah, it is. It definitely has a lot of stuff going on. Look at in this picture in the bottom right, you can see all the different flakies. This is really pretty, although it doesn't call to me like some other polishes do. So I won't put it on my list. However, I think it would be very fun for other people. Color Spectrum Polish, Good versus Evil. There are going to be 75 of these available. It's a royal blue with hollow flakes and red gold, red gold hollow magnetic strike. So it is a magnetic. Um, the inspiration is Battlefront 2. I'm assuming that's a specific video game. And you can see on, on these various pictures, the gold that shows up in the middle here, that's pulled out with um, a magnet. So magnet uh, magnetic polishes are really fun and they can give you a lot of different uh, looks depending on where you put the magnet, what kind of magnet you use, um, but I am too lazy for that. So I'm going to say no to this. And let's move on to Crystal Knockout in the service of the Sith, which is again, I think Star Wars. Um, this looks really pretty. No cap, a red jelly base with orange, copper, red, multi-chrome flakes, black, red, color shifting shimmer, black glitter, and holographic micro flakes. This one, again, I don't feel like the micro, the hollow micro flakes are a distraction. I feel like they blend nice in here and they just add to the sparkle. It doesn't look like dust got stuck in your manicure. Um, I don't have too many polishes that are this color because they don't really call to me. This doesn't really call to me for some reason, um, but I do love how it looks on all different skin tones. I think that it is very pretty. It's pulling out nicely on all skin tones. So that's nice, just not for me. Cuticula, Trust in the Force. Again, Star Wars. Um, I'm not surprised. Uh, there's no cap here. And it's a plum jelly with red purple glass flakes and two sizes of silver metallic flakes. I really, really like this and I have been dying to try Cuticula. I mean, I, th there's always, I always see cuticula and then there's just one facet about the nail polish that I don't like, 
But this, I love. It's that red purple, and then it's got like the, the red flakies in there and some silver flakies in there. I'm gonna put this on my wish list. Dainty Digits Lacquer Survivor. And this is, there's 150 of these and it's inspired by the game Survivor. Um, oh, that is brand spanky new. Okay, it's a new game. Survivor is a light purple jelly base with tons of purple reflective glitter and a fire red orange ultra aurora shimmer. Ooh, they mean business with this. It's pretty, but I have a lot that kind of look like it. So I don't think I really need this one. I do want to at some point try dainty, digi di dainty Digits though. Again, here we are with Dom or Dam nail polish, Trust the Force, Star Wars. Again, I love this sort of ghostly blue uh, paint or lacquer polish, whatever. <laughs> um, there are 200 available of these, a sheer gray base with a blue blurple shimmer. Um, and like I said in my previous video, blurple is not my favorite word, so I like purpley blue. So it's a sheer gray base with a blue and purpley blue shimmer. Um, I have a couple of these ghostly type polishes that I really, really enjoy. Um, and I think this would be nice. I'm going to put it on my wish list. It may not, may not lay, stay there, but for now. Do Nail Polish Skywalker. That is obviously um, Star Wars. I really love a gray. There will be 200 of these available and it's a milky white polish with iridescent flakes and green and silver reflective glitter. To me, this looks more like a gray than a milky white. However, ooh, I made it big. How did I do that? Sorry about that. <laughs> However, it says milky white. I feel like it's gray, but either way, this is not, not my jam. So uh, I'm not gonna put it on my list, but it does to remind me of Skywalker though. So good job on the inspiration. Garden Path Lacquer Star Killer. Um, yeah, this has a lot of hollow flakies in it, but let's see. No cap, um, it's inspired by the Force Unleashed games. Star Killer is a sheer blue base with blue, green, purple, shifting shimmer and packed with holographic microflakes. Yes, I would say packed with holographic microflakes is the perfect description. See, when you look really close up, the higher, the holographic microflakes are so pretty, and I love that. But when you zoom out to a regular, um, you know, nail polish view, it, it starts to look like dust to me. But look at all the different shifts you get here. That is gorgeous. Um, super pretty. Oh, look at on her nail. See, this at this angle, you don't really see the uh, holographic glitters all that much it might be worth putting on my list and, and thinking about. You know what, I'm gonna do that and leave it on the list. Next up, Geeky Bees Nail Colors Destroy Them All, My Apprentice. I'm not familiar with Geeky Bees. There will be 40 of these available. It's from Vader Arrives on Hoth. A pale icy blue crelly with silver sparkle and black and red glitters. Well, definitely the pale icy blue yeah this is a really pretty picture down here on the bottom left um i i don't think i'm gonna put this on my list simply because it's it's too different i love it here where it's more blue leaning but then in this light it's really white um so it doesn't have enough color in it for me but i love uh i love how it looks in the pictures so definitely good in the pictures for me Hearts and Promises, clone this. Really pretty aqua teal color. 75 available, it's inspired by the Clone Wars. This is a turquoise scattered hollow cream base with blue sparks and turquoise metallic flakes as well as micro flakies. This is definitely a color that, that calls to me. Um, I, I love turquoise and teal and blue. Uh, we're gonna put that on the wish list even though you know, of course, I have a bajillion of these. Hard to resist. Ooh, Jen and Barry's beady one. Beady one. It's inspired by, oh, it's inspired by BD-1. I don't know if that's a game or, oh, here, this little guy. I'm assuming that is, I don't, is that a Star Wars thing? I'm sorry, I don't know. He's adorable, though. 
This is a really cool polish. It's an off-white Crelly with a smorgasbord of holographic flakes, a mix of black, platinum, gunmetal, and red flakes and micro flakies, and a white and aqua shimmer. I really, really like this. Uh, it's really cool. It looks like a stone, honestly, that, you know, you'd find at like the beach or something. Um, pretty cool. You can see all the different flakies in there. Um, well, you know what? It's not going to hurt to add it to the wish list. I can call the wish list later. Jilly Bean Polish, the art of infiltration, seduction, and assassination. That is a name. 60 available. And I'm, there, there's a lot of inspiration here and it looks like it's a Star Wars uh, thing. So this polish is a teal base with super sparkly red, gold, green, Aurora shift orange to gold crystal flakies, iridescent flakes, black micro flakes, and a dash of hollow goodness. I love that dash of hollow goodness. This is really pretty, but a little too muted for me. I'm not really, not really feeling it. Um, but it's pretty, hmm, just not my thing. Crystal Designs, Empire's Most Wanted. Uh, ooh, glows in the dark. 50 of these are available, and the inspiration is the Jedi Survivor cover art. Deep green base with red, orange, yellow shifting shimmer that glows in the dark. This is a really cool pic uh, picture where you can see all the shimmer in there and the how it, how it looks. The shift is really pretty. And then here it is. It kind of glows a really pretty aqua color in the dark. I'm going to say no to this one just because glow in the dark is not my thing. Lemon Lacquer, another uh, brand that I really enjoy. Um, they are, are they the first indie brand that I bought? I can't remember if Lemon Lacquer was first or if Hollow Taco was my first uh, indie purchase. This is gorgeous. This is a purple that I love. Oh, I didn't say the, the name. Heroic Villainy. Great name. There's a hundred of these available. And its inspiration is Darth Revan, Darth Ravon. I'm not quite sure. Heroic Villainy is a violet jelly base packed with black to burgundy to red microflakes. I mean, this just, this just says, Aaron, you need to buy me. You're going on my list, just there, sweetheart. Lumen Rise Jedi Knight, a really pretty magenta color. Uh, again, it's a uh, Star Wars theme. Um, Oh, it's, it's inspired by the magenta lightsaber. I don't know who carried the magenta lightsaber. There's no cap. A vivid, cool toned pink jelly saturated with a blue to violet sparkle shiver. I have the hiccups today. Really pretty. I love the sparkle in here. However, I don't need another magenta polish. Lynn B. Designs. Oh, what a night. Oh, that is a fun song. That's not the inspiration, though but it's a still a fun song. Uh, no cap, Knights of the Old Republic video game. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. It's a black to red to gold, multi-chrome, ultra hollow. Multi-chrome is, you know, my, my thing. I love multi-chrome. This is a great picture. And you can see the hollow flakies in there. I really like this, but it's a little too um, plain for, for me at the moment. Um, but it does kind of look like pretty chocolate. Yum. MTK Design, Infernal Vol Volpilla, Pia Volpilla? I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, another sort of magenta, it's pretty, there's no cap and I don't understand the inspiration. It's called My Own Mount and Infernal Volpilla. I'm sorry, I don't understand that. It's a berry tinted base with multi-chrome sparkle, pink copper gold sparkle, violet purple red orange gold shimmer, gold copper micro flakies, and two different iridescent flakies, gold copper pink violet and blue pink gold. That is a mouthful. And my problem with that is I don't see how that all fits in here. So... I'm going to say no, just because I don't need, you know, another color like this, but it's weird. I, you know, if you're going to have that many, um, that many items in your polish, I want to be able to see a lot of it. I want to know that it's jam packed. Naps and nails, clone battles. 
again, a Star Wars um, reference, and there will be a hundred of these available. It's an orange based gold, green, orange, red multi-chrome with silver reflective glitters. Really cool, really pretty. Not my favorite color on my skin tone. See here, this is a nice picture of the gold um, angle, and this would look terrible on my skin tone. So I'm not gonna add this to my wish list. Ooh, Night Owl Lacquer's got another one, Cloud City. Cloud City, this is, no, there's no cap, and Cloud City from Battlefront is the inspiration. Smoky teal glowing with rusty red, orange, gold, green, shifting shimmer and holographic flex. This is really pretty, and I love the green, um, but I have enough green, and this doesn't overpower, you know, my other greens in my collection, so I'm going to say no, no to this one. Paint It Pretty Polish, another of my favorite brands. It's called Blastem. That has to be Star Wars, right? There are only 100 of these available, and the inspiration are Stormtroopers, and it's a light gray holographic polish with shifting shimmer. This is one of those really, like, ghostly uh, polishes that I normally wouldn't like, but some of these pictures are really pretty. Like, this picture is really pretty. You can see a lot of really pretty shimmer down here. Um, on her pinky um, and then you can see in this picture like it's a little different I really I really like this we'll see I think I have something almost exactly like it so if I do I probably won't get it from rain dance lacquer we have Padawan another Star Wars uh, reference this is really pretty right here on these short nails I love that um, I'm a short nail fan I love long nails as well I just sometimes in pictures short nails I are the best for me. Only 40 of these available. It's a charcoal, charcoal gray jelly base that's packed with hollow micro flakes and shifty pink chrome flakes. Yes, I can see those pink chrome flakes, especially up here in this picture. That is really, really pretty. And I've never tried rain dance. Um, so that actually would convince me to try the a new brand. We're going to just pin that and we'll see. Red Eye Blacker brings us get to the pod. Um, only a hundred of these and the inspiration is the pods in Battlefront and it's a dark charcoal base with red, pink, gold, shifting shimmer and hollow flakes. And yes, I can see all of, all of those, um, variations. And here you can see the hollow flakes just lighting up the, the sparkles. Very pretty. Uh, it's just not a polish I would wear very often, so I will say no. Red Panda, uh, another brand that I'm not familiar with, and it's Disco Wars. The polish is Disco Wars. There are only 50 of these available, and it is the disco. It, the inspiration is the disco gag opening for the Rogue Squadron Three. I don't know if if what that means. Um, it's a black curly with rainbow crystal chameleon flakes and light green reflective glitter. Here is a good shot of the reflective glitter. You can see it's a little blurry, but you can kind of get the, the idea of that green glitter coming out at you. Here's a good shot of just the polish itself. Not my thing. Um, black polishes are, are hard for me to, um, hard for me to buy. I really like a good black cream, but other than that, I, I tend to shy away from them. Rogue Lacquer brings us the Yoda Chronicles. I wish that that looks like it would glow in the dark, but I don't think it does. Um, no, ca no cap, a glowy green neon with green shimmer and, sil and micro silvery hollow flakes. Glowy as in it's bright, but it does not glow in the dark. Um, here's a really pretty, this is very bright. I like I like bright, but I think this is a little too bright for me, but very pretty. And it looks like it goes on pretty evenly. So yay, Rogue. Very good. Sassy Cats Lacquer, The Galaxy Awaits. Another brand that I'm really interested in trying. Um, 50 of these are available, and it's inspired by the Star Wars, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's a navy base with a copper shimmer. This sounds delightful, and it looks very, very pretty. However, I have enough dark nail polish for the next millennia, millennium, so I'm going to say no to this, but I, I really love that copper and, and blue uh, combo. Sizzling Shades Nail Lacquer brings us Valiant Horn. 
and there will be 40 of these available and it's inspired by the Ewok hunter sounding the valiant horn in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So it's a dark chocolate brown polish with copper, orange, gold, red, chrome flakies and green gold large particle shimmer. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is probably good. Yeah, you can really see the shimmer chunks in this one. Um, I love that. You can really get a, a good shot, a good, um, this is really pretty here. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure it's for me. No, not sure it's for me. Okay, I've been dreading this one because I have no idea how to say this name. Sizgi, Sizgi Boston, I don't know. Please, if you know how to say this name, write it phonetically down in the comments because I have no idea. And they bring us so uncivilized. Um, there's a cap of 50 and it's inspired by Lego Star Wars. It's uh, hollow based buildable polish can act as a topper in one coat or layer for full coverage. Okay, so it can be a topper, which, you know, who doesn't love a good topper? Or you can layer it up and wear it by itself. It looks pretty, but I don't need a topper. And I need to understand how to pronounce this name before I buy anything. Pretty with the blue little flakies. I like that. Not going on my list though. Tipsy Toppers Polish Lightsaber Dual. Um, and this is again a topper, I believe. Um, no cap. Uh, embrace the light light sight maybe it's should be light side i don't know with this neon confetti topper inspired by lightsabers used in clone wars topper contains neon yellow daisies neon pink squares neon green diamonds and neon blue and purple bar glitters bar glitters are fun i like those this is not appealing to me though um, mainly because i don't need another topper and there's just too much going on honestly i think if you took out the bar glitters i would like it more which doesn't make any sense because i love bar glitters okay next up is witch cult nail lacquer with amidala um, and this uh there will be 50 available and it's um, inspired by star wars the queen's gambit board game amidala is a yellow polish with red orange aurora and black red micro flakes not my thing. It's a little too mustardy, like metallic mustardy. Not my thing. Not this time. And then last but not least, we have Zombie Claw. I fear nothing. And there will be 50 of these. And it is a Star Wars inspired, the dark side. Uh, a saber light red that glows in the dark with scattered hollow aurora shimmer, green flakies, and glitter. Now, I've said a thousand times, I don't like glow in the dark. However, I really love the color when it's not in the dark. That is really pretty. I don't gravitate towards pinky reds or reds in general, but this is interesting. I'm going to put it on the wish list and we'll see. And we have come to the end of the polish uh, for the Polish Gamers box. Remember, this is available uh, tomorrow, April 15th. Um, if you have any questions, check out Polish Gamers box. They've got a great facts page. And I appreciate you watching. I hope you found something interesting. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.